Smart Drive. It's Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about winter survival kits, the bits that need to go into the kit that you should put in your car and keep in your car for the duration of the winter. That way, if you end up out on the highway and end up in the ditch and can't get your vehicle out, you can survive for a length of time that you may end up being there. Now, just before we get started here, be sure to hit that subscribe button just about there. That way you'll get access to all of the information for those of you working towards a license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver. As well, be sure to hit that bell. That way you'll get instant notification of when I get the videos up for you. So today we're talking about winter survival kits. You can purchase these at stores already pre-made and packaged together. And I'll put a card up here for you in the corner on some that I did last winter. I did four survival kits uh, that you can put in your vehicle and I rated those and there wasn't one of them that was actually a four star kit. And even if you do buy one of those pre-packaged kits, you still need to put some stuff in it like your cell phone charger and you need to put in medication if you have medication that you need to take every day because you might be in the car for more than a day if you end up in the ditch in a remote area. So know that, that there are always going to be a couple of more things that you need to put in the kit and as well most of these kits uh, you can assemble one of these things fairly simple most of the stuff that you need is going to be in your house or in your garage anyway so you can put these together fairly inexpensively and put them in your vehicle so what we're going to do today we're going to go through the bits the reasons why you need them in your vehicle and the pieces that should be in your winter survival kit that should be in your car for the duration of the winter so stick around we'll be right back with that information Hi there smart drivers, welcome back. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about winter survival kits, the pieces that you need in the winter survival kit and the reason why you need them. So let's get started here. You wanna put your snow brush and you wanna make sure that you have your windshield washer fluid topped up with winter windshield washer fluid. That way you can keep the windows clear, you can keep them scraped off, remove any ice and snow and those types of things because that's the first part to being safe in the winter time is having your windshield clean, having all the windows cleaned off from, and free from snow and ice that you can see out. And in combination with that, you want your windshield washer flu fluid topped up because there's gonna be lots of spray coming off the other vehicles on the roadway because of the salt and sand that they put down on the roadway and it's gonna be very dirty. And I'll put a card up here for you in the corner. <laughs> Don't get near too close to uh, Sanders salt, uh, the Sanders and salt trucks on the roadway because they can cause chips in your windshield and I've had to replace my windshield because of that so know that. So snow brush and windshield washer fluid topped up before you leave to go out on a remote trip. First piece that you need in your winter survival kit is a blanket. You need some sort of blanket in your vehicle. Now you can just find a blanket around your uh, house and those types of things but if you have a smaller vehicle uh, you can buy those emergency blankets and whatnot. The ones that are nice and shiny as you see in most of the kits and whatnot and they're really small. Unfortunately the thing is, is in my personal experience experience <laughs> they're not very warm so I would just recommend that you get a blanket out of your house and put it in your in your car if you've got a sleeping bag uh, that you use for camping and those types of things that's another thing that you could do make sure that it's rated for less than zero degrees because if you get the ones uh, that are just summer ones that are down to five degrees or uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit uh, they're not going to be very good and they're not going to be very warm but and as, as well those summer sleeping bags tend to be quite bulky but if you have one it's going to be better than nothing so make sure the, the, the first thing that you have in your vehicle is some sort of blanket maybe even two if you got children and those types of things while well, they go out in the car and they get into the car seats and that when the vehicle is cold they can use the blankets to stay warm so that's the first thing that you want in your winter survival kit is a blanket the second thing you want in your winter survival kit is some sort of candle and you want some sort of candle that is flat uh, as you can see in the image here and you can set a pot on top of it that way you can use the candle for not only heat in the vehicle but also light and you can use it to melt snow because uh, even if you have water uh, in your vehicle like bottled water and those types of things it's going to freeze so you're going to need some way to melt snow so that you have water because we can survive without food we can't survive more than 36 hours without water so you're going to need some sort of water so if you have a pot and a candle and a lighter I do not recommend that you have matches because matches get wet and they won't light a lighter will actually uh, work in most conditions. So make sure you have a lighter, a candle, and a pot, and those three things go together so that you can put snow in and melt. As well, the candle inside of the car is going to produce a bit of heat and help to keep you as warm as well. You'd be surprised how much heat comes off a small candle in a confined space. So know that you're gonna have a bit of heat as well 
uh, from that candle and that's going to help to keep you warm and to survive. So three things, all of the three things together there, a candle, a pot, and a, and a lighter, all of that is going to uh, go into your survival kit. The next thing you want in your survival kit is non-perishable food. You want a bit of food inside of the car. And as I said, uh, these pre-packaged survival kits that you buy do not come with non-perishable food. So you need to put that in the package, whether that's hard candies, granola bars, other wrapped uh, food and those types of things. Don't put any perishable food and put in stuff, uh, canned items and those types of things. I, I did have one truck driver a few years ago tell me that in his truck he kept a case of beef chunky stew. So uh, if you have canned items as well, I know they're pretty bulky and heavy, but for those of you driving truck, long haul, you can put that in the sleeper and have that there and have a can opener and a, and a utensil and something else. That way you're going to have some food. Uh, when, if you do in fact get stranded somewhere, you're in an avalanche area or someplace like that, you get stuck in the ditch in a remote area. So you're going to have some food. So you've already got your water taken care of because you've got your candle and your pot and those types of things. So you, the, this one here, you want non-perishable food in your survival kit that goes into your vehicle. The next thing you want in your survival kit is medication. If you are on medication and require medication for diabetes or some other ailment that you have that you're taking regular uh, medication every day, make sure you have that in your kit so that if you get stranded somewhere that you have your medication and you're not going to you know, perish because you didn't have your medication. So make sure that you put any medication that you need into your kit. The other thing that you need in the car is a cell phone charger. Most of us have cell phones. Uh, if you're in the mountains or other remote areas, the cell phone may not work, but if you're in an area where you can get cell phone reception and your cell phone's not charged, that is really gonna hurt you. So make sure you go get an extra cell phone charger. Carry that in the vehicle with you if you're going out to remote areas. And as well, if you've got a 12 volt uh, adapter, make sure you have one that will plug into your phone and charge your phone from your vehicle. Uh, they're inexpensive and you can ha just have it in the vehicle all the all the time that way if you get into the ditch or you get stranded somewhere in an avalanche or something you can call somebody and they can come out and give you a hand so make sure you keep your cell phone charged up the other thing you might want to consider putting in your vehicle is a shovel and uh, these you can get fold-up shovels at the army surplus store and those types of things and a lot of the kits that you can buy at Canadian Tire, Home Depot, Rona, those types of places, other places in the States. You can also buy these survival kits at automotive parts stores. Uh, they will have fold-up shovels, those small green military shovels that you can use and they would go in the vehicle. Or you can just throw a shovel into the car. A lot of times they're not very big and those will help you to shovel the car out if you do get into a remote area and whatnot. Uh, in combination with a shovel, you might want to get some traction mats or a bag of sand. Uh, if you've got a pickup truck, you might want to put a couple of bags of sand over the wheels at the back just to give it a bit more weight. I know that a lot of people do that as well. So shovel, traction mats, and a bit of sand, that way you can get the vehicle unstuck if you are unfortunate enough to get it stuck. Now, if you're traveling in remote areas a lot and there's a possibility that you're going to spin out and get stuck or there's a lot of snow and you're going to get stuck on a regular basis, the other thing that you might consider putting in your vehicle is a tow strap. Uh, try not to use a chain because chains are unforgiving. If you get those big tow straps, they have a bit of give to them so the other vehicle can kind of get a little of a run at it to get your vehicle uh, towed out of the ditch. And as well, make sure you um, fasten the tow strap to towing points on your vehicle. Don't attach it to the bumper or some other cowling on your vehicle because you might end up like uh, some of the videos here where they end up pulling the vehicle in half or pulling parts off the vehicle. So make sure you hook it to the right place on the vehicle so that you can get it towed out without incident or damage. So that's another bit that you might want to put into your survival kit. And one of the last things you might consider putting into your winter survival kit is to put in a first aid kit because if you do end up in the ditch or you run off the road or get stuck or those types of things there's always a possibility that you could get injured so it's always good to have on hand a first aid kit a basic first aid kit with some band-aids and those other things and whatnot and for those of you that need medication you can also put your medication into the first aid kit and that will keep you safe when you're out on the roadways traveling in the winter time question for my smart drivers do you have any other items that you would put into your winter survival kit leave a comment down in the comment section there that helps all of the new drivers working towards being crash free over the winter time and veteran drivers looking to improve their skills if you like what you see here share subscribe leave a comment down in the comment section as well hit that thumbs up button check out all the videos here on the channel if you're working towards a license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver and if you're looking for 
for more information about winter driving, check out the winter driving playlist. As well, head over to the Smart Drive Test website, more great information over there and online courses that you can purchase. All of the courses are guaranteed, pass your road test first time or your money back, 60 day money back guarantee. Look down in the description box there, you'll find a coupon for the pass your road test first time. It's for new drivers, you get 30% off. Just plug that into the coupon box over at uh, Smart Drive Test website. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now. <laughs> Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about a winter. Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking.